it's interesting that Jesus gets filled with Holy Spirit at the revival meeting of John the Baptist sometimes we kind of don't think about this in the context of how this actually happened historians say that for 400 years there was no visible proof of God's moving in the nation of Israel religion of Judaism was reduced to synagogues scribes Pharisees and lawyers it means people who built certain buildings where people met on Saturdays and they read to tor through Torah and they were exhorted and encouraged to maintain their allegiance to Torah but there was no prophetic words there was no miracles and there was nothing supernatural taking place religion was normal until a man rises up whose name is John and he starts to preach for everyone to repent and so things are just stirred up people start to come to him and he's not in the synagogue he's outside by the river and the amazing part that John does something was nobody was done before is that John begins to baptize people now baptism in the Jewish history in the Jewish culture was normal but it was not for the Jewish people baptism was for the Gentiles means people who are not Jewish who want to be Jewish when you come into Judaism what we do is that they get circumcised and another thing they do is they get dunked into water as their symbol of joining Judaism so here is John speaking to Jews and telling Jews you need to be baptized so they all they're like not us it's them and John says the only difference between you and them there is no difference he says your life you're a mess he says you're sinners and John just begins to preach and preach and preach and so I mean he he stirs up a crowd a revival breaks out people start begin to get saved people start getting baptized now the law that to baptize only the Gentiles is pushed away everybody's getting baptized and Jesus comes and sees the revival and Jesus could have said huh John he doesn't have miracles John he's socially awkward he doesn't talk to people normally he's not nice he rebukes the politicians he doesn't have love Jesus could have said well John's ministry is so small I am not gonna go to John's meetings I'm gonna start my own but the amazing part about our Jesus he goes to a revival that was not as powerful but it was the only revival in the world and he goes to the revival not just sits on the back and takes notes but he goes in the front and says John baptize me too imagine people always say oh we Christians you guys are always looking for revivals Jesus looked for revivals and that's where God filled him with the Holy Ghost Jesus did not feel did not get filled with the Holy Ghost in a synagogue Holy Spirit did not fill Jesus in some kind of a meeting of believers it was at the revival that Pharisees and religious leaders said we don't want to do nothing with it this is strange this is weird he has a demon the Bible says Pharisees said that Jesus went to a revival you want to be filled with Holy Spirit where is God moving today what is God doing today in this world and maybe what he is doing is not as great as what we know God wants to do in our life and through our life but are you willing today to benefit from a revival of God's Spirit even though you don't endorse or like the style of the person God is using maybe they're eating honey wild honey and dressed up with some really crazy belts and everything but at the end of the day Jesus didn't go to endorse John's diet he went to endorse the Spirit of God that was moving through John and such an interesting point the Holy Spirit chose to fill Jesus right in the middle of John's revival 